Hello my friends, this is Richard, this is Games Freezer and today we're doing an unboxing. I haven't done one of these for a little while so I'm extremely excited to get stuck in. What have we got here? Well, we've got an 8-bit do controller that's been sent through the post to us to take a good look at so as we can uh, get involved with testing it out and seeing what it's like. Right, so I'm going to open it up, see what we've got. it all right so we've got a box that is containing 8-bit do ultimate wired controller so that is compatible with windows android and switch so looking from the outside look the box looks like a nice looking controller uh, especially in this nice white color we've got here and then on the back you've got some uh, compatibility information so compatible with windows 10 1903 and above android 9 and above uh, switch 3.00 and above so that's all good so it's the white edition model number 82ca connectivity wired usb so it's not the wireless version it's the wired usb version uh, okay, dimensions 146.7 by 103.6 by 61.3 millimeters. Input DC 5 volts, uh, USB cable length, so that's 1.8 meters. So that's a fair, fairly reasonable length of cable. And that's 260 grams, so a nice weighty controller. Right, let's get rid of that. So let's open her up and see what we've got inside shall we so that's what we're here for anything on the sides no anything on the base no right okay there we go these little tabs are normally a pain to open but this one is nice and easy I think this is currently getting distributed by Game Outlet. So I'm not sure whether that's game as in game on the high street in the UK or not. Normally when I'm looking for my 8-bit do items, I generally go on um, Amazon to find them. Right, let's see if I can get this open because it doesn't seem to want to lift out and I'm, I don't really want to rip the box let's, let's give it a little go there we go all right okay securely packaged what's this like a black box inside the box again I don't want to rip the box so I'm just doing this as carefully as I can all right okay whoa rocking the camera Okay, in there. All right, we can get rid of this box now. Okay, so in there, we have the controller, which is behind this kind of cardboard sort of protector. Let's take that off. Okay, so that's the cardboard protector, get rid of that. Okay, now on the buttons, we've got the plastic protection that over there and we have then got the actual controller itself right let's see if i can just lift this out a bit more packaging to keep it safe throw that okay right and now we have the controller oh that feels great by the way nice very nice. This could become my new go-to controller for all my PC gaming, I think. I currently use, let me show you what I use at the minute, my trusty, trusty companion. It's the wired USB Xbox 360 controller that I've had for many a year. And unfortunately, it's taken a battering 
rage quits not me honestly but yeah this is uh this has been in need of a bit of an upgrade it's got a little bit of drift on it only just recently it's started getting that on a regular basis so this could be my new go-to controller i like 8-bit do or 8-bit do stuff whatever you want to call them uh, let's throw that over there and their stuff is always of good quality so seems like this will end up being my go-to controller right let's get rid of that okay what we got here we've got some instructions Ooh. i think we're going to tear that but there you go um right let's get rid of that let's get to the controller itself right so what have we got here then what do we have here nice smooth front got these three buttons across the front here uh, one there as well i'm assuming that's some kind of power or start button or something like that yeah there's a few different buttons across there i wasn't expecting to see to be fair uh there there's a star button in the middle a minus and a plus you can see those and then this kind of hatched button there not sure what they all do nice feeling analogs got their top buttons there the rb and lb nice triggers and we've got these back buttons as well That's back buttons there which seems to have become the kind of standard now standard layout to have those back buttons on them um got the directional pad there feels good got this kind of rough um grip on the back so that it doesn't fly at your hand too often and overall feels nice and weighty and feels like a solid controller what i'll do in a moment is i'll plug it into the pc and see how quickly it picks it up hopefully uh hopefully it's as good as it feels and picks it up straight away that's your usb and let's uh just undo that see if we can plug it in and then away we go right so we've got the controller ready we've got it unfurled and we've got the usb uh, end ready to plug in so what i'm going to do is we're going to plug it directly into the pc i've got um elden ring fired up ready to go and I'll just see how quickly it takes me to be able to take control of the um, Elden Ring control uh, menu and go from there. Right, so USB doo -doo 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 -doo, at the ready. And I'm going to keep my earphone in so as I can hear when it gives me that positive da ding of click connecting. Right, plugging it in now. And we've got a white light on the controller and we are immediately in control of the menu itself pressing continue and away we go so that was nice and easy no problem there with that is there uh, feels lovely in the hand again like I say very nice controller very nice looking only worry I suppose with a white controller is over time the grime that builds up uh, on the controller from the sweat of your hand um, but apart from that I think this is a winner winner 8-bit do dinner anyway hopefully you've enjoyed the video and uh, I'll be left here playing um, Elden Ring with this brand new swanky new controller um, if you've enjoyed the video please press the like button that's what we're all about here pressing like gives us the opportunity uh, to get more things into the games freezer so uh, please please do so please press like also subscribe to our channel as we begin to build the channel up and uh, basically get new subscribers again we get more more things into the games freezer um, head over to twitter and instagram and that's at games freezer to follow us over there we we're always uh, around and about there, so that, that's all good. Um, also, we're at 
gamesfreezer.co.uk, which is where we put all of our videos, all of the time. Uh, most days of the week, we're there putting out new articles, etc. Okay, until next time, my friends, you'll be leaving me fiddling around with my analog sticks as I enter some kind of ruin uh, full of bats. Goodbye, my friends.